Chris Martin here with Creative Domain and today's quick tip tutorial is on multipass rendering and object buffers. So I've got a scene set up here with a ball and uh, our sphere and three toruses. And what I want to do is I want to be able to isolate each one of these separately so that I can control them when I get them into After Effects. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our render settings and we're going to set up multi-pass rendering. We're going to select object buffer and we're going to put four of those in our render settings. So now that sets up multi-pass rendering here. Now we need to change the object buffers from one to four so the first one is at one, the second one will be at two, the third one at three, and the fourth one at four. We need to say where we're going to save this file out. I've already got mine saved out to a specific place on my hard drive. And you need to make sure you save out your regular image and your multipass image. Now we need to come over here to our objects and we need to assign a Cinema 4D tag compositing tag to it. And let's just duplicate that four times. So we've got one tag on. Uh, each of the objects in the scene and then we need to go to each tag select the object buffer and enable object buffer 1 enable object buffer 2 3 and 4 okay now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and render the scene it renders it out then we'll jump over into After Effects we'll open up the file and we, uh, it creates an object buffer, it, an AEC file for us. So we'll double click that. And we get these two folders that are created for us. This is the actual composition that it creates for us with our scene in there. And we get uh, our four special passes, which are the object buffers. And these are the actual isolated elements from our scene. So you can see there's the, the sphere, and there's one of the toruses, the other one. So what we'll do here is we've got our scene here. We're going to take our RGB that it puts in here for us. This is the RGB image. And we're going to put that into the new comp to create a new comp. And we will take the first object buffer, which is the sphere, and we will drag it on top of the RGB image. Now we'll come over to the track mat and we'll turn on luma mat. And you can see now we have that, that sphere isolated here. And so we'll just, we'll close this, we'll duplicate it with control D. We'll call this object buffer two. And we will open that up. We'll select the top special pass, which was object buffer four and we will put in object buffer 3. And that way we get uh, one of our toruses. And we'll just do that for each, each element that we have. So we'll go ahead and we'll duplicate again. Open that up. Put in object buffer 2 on top. Close that one. Duplicate the last one. and we'll put the first one in. Okay, so now we have all of our objects isolated. So now you can come in here to your main comp and you could drag these four image or uh, these four comps in here into your main comp. And let's say that we were going to use a curves on each one of these. So now if you adjust your curve, you can see that I'm controlling just the sphere. You can do that to each one of the layers. Now that one's controlling just the red torus. And we've got just the green one here. So you can kind of see the power of what, uh, what you could do with this, uh, with this technique. So. That is the quick tip tutorial for the day. I hope that helps.